This is a video for people with at least intermediate synthesizer programming skills, or anyone who's really interested in high fidelity audio when it comes to virtual synthesizers. I'm going to show you how it's incredibly important with certain plugins to use higher sampling rates. In this case, using Surge for phase distortion synthesis, we're going to need to go to 384 kilohertz, doing it via oversampling in Reaper. So I'm going to show you right now the difference in the sound of this particular sound that I have been designing for the upcoming 40th anniversary reissue of a very old record that I made so long ago that is now very high in demand for collectors called Ricos 5 by a very early project of mine called Spec and Company. There's a bit of a story there, but that's for another video. I was facing the challenge of recreating sounds that I created originally on the legendary Casio CZ101 and using today's recreations of it, the virtual ones, for example, the virtual CZ and the CZV from Arturia. I hate to say this, but those things just don't cut it. They do not accurately recreate very demanding, high precision phase distortion sounds made by an expert programmer. And actually, just at the end of last year, 2025, that was the 40th, no, I'm sorry, it's the 40th anniversary of the record. That was the 45th anniversary of me as a synth programmer. That's when I got my Prophet 5 in 1980. So I think I know a thing or two about programming synthesizers. At any rate, listen to this recreation of a sound. And this is actually just the skeleton, the beginning stage of a sound that I was creating, recreating for a reissue that just happened for another record of mine from a few years later called Hyperspace by another project of mine called Zulu Matrix. Okay, enough talk. Here's the sound in Surge recreating phase distortion from the CZ. Now, that is with the 384 kilohertz oversampling. I'm going to play a very, very low note, and I want you to listen to the high frequency content of this sound. Not much there, is there? Now let's listen to the very same sound with me turning off the oversampling. Right over here, we click on no oversampling. And now I just have to start and stop the playback to make it register. And now we're going to hear the exact same sound without the oversampling. Listen to that garbage aliasing way up in the high frequencies. It doesn't matter what note I hit, it's there. It's just more apparent the lower that I go. I'm going to drop another octave to get really down. Just listen to that aliasing. And again, let's put the oversampling back to 384. And let's listen to that same note again. Now, there's a little tiny bit there now because I am really stretching far down. But that's <laughs> getting into crazy territory. Believe it or not, you can clean that up by going to 768 kilohertz. But we don't need to go that far. If we go back up another octave, 
I'm sure that it will sound just fine at 384. There you go. Once we get back up to normal ranges, nice and clean. Now, this, we're going to get into some more advanced synthesis talk here now. I'm actually doing this phase distortion synthesis using a different method in Surge besides their straight ahead phase distortion synthesizer engine. As you can see, if you look at the screen here under oscillator, I'm using the window and I'm using a sine wave and I'm morphing it using a cosine. And if you know about how the CZ101 works, all of the Casio phase distortion synthesizers, this is basically what they're doing. And so this gives a more accurate recreation of the exact sound of the Casio. Now, let's listen. I'm using a dual scene here. Scene A is using this method. So let me just play that note again. That's very Casio, especially if I add a little bit of control using the mod wheel to give it a little more juice, so to speak. Now that is really CZ territory there. Now, let's switch to scene B, where we're actually using the phase distortion. It's a hybrid of formant slash phase distortion, but it's using these controls that gives us what we're after. So here's the same sound using their legit, so to speak, phase distortion engine. Similar. But it's just not quite the same. Let's go back to A. That's really true Casio CZ sound. So if you really know what you're doing, you can tell just by looking at the screen how I've programmed this. I'm not going to get into big details about all of this. This isn't a how-to. It's just something to let you know if you're already a serious programmer using Surge that there's more than one way. In fact, there's more than two, but I'm just going to get into these two for this comparison, especially because going back to scene A, seeing the alternate more CZ style of phase distortion, this is the one that really requires the oversampling. If we're just using the straight ahead phase distortion engine from Surge, this doesn't even require the oversampling. But I just wanted to show you that using this method, it's absolutely essential. It's critical to do the oversampling. Let's listen to them combined. Now, I also made another patch that is really showing off what you can do using this other engine in combination with the phase distortion engine. In this case, what we need to do, it'll sound the same if I just play it here. But if I now, using the actual phase distortion engine portion of our dual sound, let me go to single mode so you can hear that one all by itself. Now, look at what happens if I switch from the ring modulator to a typical filter configuration, which is actually not doing anything because as you can see here by the two filters, they're both off. That's one of the things about phase distortion synthesis is you're doing all of your filter, so to speak, your frequency control within the synthesis itself. 
So you really don't need or even want filters most of the time. So now let's listen to how it sounds when I'm turning off that ring modulator. That's getting kind of huge, and that's way outside of a CZ, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of within, but it's way too powerful to be a CZ. Reminiscent, but better. Now, check out what happens if I also add some FM to this. And now, let's actually combine this in dual mode with the new, more true CZ sound. If I turn the FM even higher in terms of the algorithm that we're using, <laughs> it's getting pretty crazy, isn't it? Way, way outside of CZ territory. Beautiful, just beautiful. And again, this, because we're doing both engines at the same time, the other engine, which I will switch to here, just so that you can see again what I did here using the window mode, that really requires that 384 kilohertz. Really important. Really, really important. Don't do this kind of work in Surge without that oversampling. And if you're using something that isn't as good as Reaper, you're kind of out in the cold, especially if you want to do 768. I don't know if you can do it with too many other DAWs, but where there's a will, there's a way, I suppose. All right. Check out with a little bit of spacer added as we hit the road. Mm -hmm. 